Number three, because every friend is a potential future enemy for that reason. My father and my grandfathers told me to only have one friend. In fact, they told us about the one friend rule. They told us that in order for you to live long and a fulfilling and satisfying life, try not to have many friends, okay? because the so-called friends are always your downfall. Father and my grandfather were big or not. They, it was the one friend rule, not to have many friends. You can keep the rest as associate or acquaintances. But what does it mean? You should have only one friend. One friend and make sure that person has been long enough in your life. I mean, your spirit will tell you if you're equally yoked, if you guys are soulmates, we have different soulmates. We have soulmates that could be friends. We have soulmates that could be lovers. We have soulmates that could be relatives, blood relatives, extended relatives, direct relatives. And we have soulmates who could be total strangers, but they love us as if they were blood. So you have to, at that point, already make sure that you guys are soulmate it's a divine friendship it's a divine union if you have things which are heavy in your heart that you want to combine it combine it such individual because they have already proven their worth they have been tested they have been validated they 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 that crying shoulder you can you know rely on they don't judge they never judge they never seek conflict, they protect you, they, they defend your honor in your absence. Anyway, they are real friends, they are God sent friends. Once you find that person, the rest, treat them like acquaintances. That's what my father told me. They have to earn a place next to you because you, when you have that, when you bear such light in a world that has been under satanic dominion, it's tough. Many of us didn't make it, okay? So my father and my grandfather say, if you want to live long, have only one friend and keep everybody else at bay as an acquaintance, as an associate and give them limited access. Acquaintances and associates, you give them limited access, okay? You don't give them access to the best things, the best people in your life. People who have been tested and proven and validated. You don't mix them with the newbies. My father said, don't pour fresh wine into an, a jar with old wine. You don't do that. It could result chaotic, okay? People who have been in your life for 10 plus years, you keep them in that category of people who have been around you for 10 plus years. The newbies you have just met, you keep them with the newbies. If you want to inter interact or, in or network, keep them at that level, the newbies, and see how they interact, okay? See how they interact, see what they do with the limited access you have given them. Number four, you have to be like an onion. People have to earn the right to have access to your plenty too. People have to earn the right to have access to your blessing. That energy by you just talking life into them, speaking blessing into them. Things take off, things start working and taking off in their lives. Some of them get greedy and they, they seek to make you a slave. So since every friend, acquaintances, associate, our potential future enemy, for that reason, our elders teach us to be like an onion. My grandfather told me, give a little to people first and see what they do with it. My grandfather told me, you must be like an onion. Everybody know onions are sweet. Onions have many layers. The closer you get to the heart of the onion, the sweeter the onion gets. So you have to be like an onion. Don't give them everything. People who are not used to anything, when you give them everything, they will resent you. If they want to get personal, they start sharing personal things from their lives because they expect you to do the same. But you don't have to follow that frenzy. Share information in your strength and share an information that puts you in your weakness and see what they choose to do with it. See which side of you they choose to exploit and you will know. You see? So my grandfather said, 
Give them a little and see what they do with it. Don't introduce them to the best people you have around. Introduce them to people like them that you barely know, that you yourself you're still discovering. And see how it goes. Before you know it, you will know who you're dealing with. My grandfather told me. So don't pour all your sweetness and stuff to pigs. Spiritual pigs, no. So give a little bit of yourself, be like an onion. Don't reveal too much, you know, don't reveal anything you know they can use against you. You will see because you never know who you have around you. Sometimes you have complete wizards, you know, witches. A lot of people disguised in these churches and now we know a lot of these churches, a lot of these churches today are witch covens. The, the people who go may not know, but the pastors are connected to secret society and they keep a pool of people they harvest energy from. You start sharing future projects and stuff, you will start noticing that they're just some project. When you share it with one person, it just never come to pass because they counter it. When you hang up the phone, they start speaking all kind of, you know, negativity to it and your heart chakra is open. So whatever they throw at you that is negative, it will affect you because you have accepted a false person in your heart. You know, and spirit obey to command. When you feel love for a person, your guards are down. They say, oh, that's your person, chill. So that's why you have to remain on guard. So be an onion, okay? Don't let anybody to your chamber and enjoy your sweetness and everything. They haven't proven themselves, they're dark as hell. You think, no, it's a choice, okay? That energy by you just talking life into them, speaking blessing into them, things take off, things start working and taking off in their lives. Some of them get greedy and they, they seek to make you a slave or they go and send money to someone to swap stars with you because they think it's something they can do, you know? These demonic entities animating them are delusional, they're tricksters, okay? They lead them to the certain past, path of destruction, that's what they don't know. So they make them believe unbelievable things, things that can never happen. Because he who gives is the one who can take away. They can never take your star, they can never swap your destiny, they can never take anything of yours. So... Be at peace with it, okay? I know that there's a lot of it going on. People are crazy these days. Just be careful, all right? So people have to earn the right to have access to you, to your plenitude, to your energy, to your wants, to your love. But don't change. Like my grandfather said, don't change. If you're loving, you're caring, you're kind, be that way. Don't change because somebody took advantage of you, no. Let them go, block them mentally, physically, and spiritually. Let them go, it's their loss. But the next person who comes in your life, give them a fair chance. See them as worthy. Have them go through the same process. Never get tired because you know what? Sometimes they never get tired of us when we're still lost and trying to figure out. So we shouldn't get tired of going through that process. Okay, it's for our own It's that war, it's that bloodline on the front line, ready for war. Where Where you you got got your grass okay any woman who hates herself would seek to walk in the shoes of she who loves herself when you have these people who are highly insecure okay they're highly insecure when they're highly insecure about themselves they don't like themselves they are not able to like anybody they are not able if they can't see beauty in themselves they are not able to see 
beauty in other people. They are not able to love themselves. They are not able to give love or receive love and appreciate it from anybody. So you have to be uh, uh, careful. These copycats, people who want to act like you, you know they hate you, but they want to copy you. They want to mimic your energy. These are energy vampires. You have to be careful. These are the Kompaohe behind the, the Sankara and the Mobutu behind the Patrice Lumbumba. This, these are the ones who would gladly try to walk on your shoes, try to sit on your throne after you've gone through the battle to achieve whatever you want to achieve. These are the ones who would swap at the last minute and come and sit on your blessings if you're not careful. Okay? So, my mother told me be careful of a friend who always tries to compare herself to you. These are the ones who will seek to steal your shine or your star. These are the ones who will attempt to destiny swap you. These are the ones. So you have to be careful. Insecure friends, you know, they're just there. They never give a straight compliment. You know, always shady always hiding behind something, a religion, a belief, or oh, today they're very Christian. You know, as you could hear that young lady on that video, I mean, it broke my heart. She said, oh, she doesn't trust women, 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 women. So you see that they have hurt her, they have scared her to the point that her herself is now in fear. My mother and my grandmother told me to expeditiously, fast, cut off anybody who portrays the following. A friend always trying to copy whatever you do, cut them off. A friend who looks at you sideways, cut them off. A friend who went around other people, doesn't even act like your friend anymore. They go and support other people and try to antagonize you. Cut them off. A friend who goes with an ex of yours, okay? You guys broke up and now you know, oh, now nah, they're walking with them. That's not a friend. Cut them off. That's a deadly snake in your grasp. A snake that will go after who your ex friend. People you fell off with. People who antagonize you or fought you. And now all of a sudden you see them befriending them. That's a deadly snake in your grasp. Cut off that head. Get rid of them. A friend who takes sick pleasure in entertaining people who are in contention with you, who are just fighting you for no reason, and they know that they're fighting you for no reason, but no, they're there entertaining them, telling you that, oh, it's not my problem, I don't have a problem with that. Get rid of them fast. And my father told me it's among the neutral ones that you will find your traitors, because everybody got an opinion. When they're traitors, they're gonna claim to be neutral. Because like we say back at home, they wanna eat on every table. Mm? To them everywhere, it's an opportunity for them to eat a meal. That's how they prostitute themselves spiritually and that's how they're gonna sell you for nothing. Be careful with such individuals. Number seven, beware of hidden enemies. Okay. 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 